They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words, had, those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And I mean, yeah. Yeah. They do. And it happens a lot. <laughs> and that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, it's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Drama! And that's the prologue! Woohoo! Super easy to get through, right? And right now we've still got 15 of us, so we're all alive! Good start, good start, good start. To be continued, huh? We would have him. Oh, they're gonna show us, like, the whole, like, intro thing that they've got planned here. Cool. So we get to go through this again, that you get- Cause you see it right at the beginning of the game, too. When you start it up. I can't remember if there was a character that I did like max friendships with or not in this particular game. I don't think so. Like I know in Danganronpa 3 I got max friendship with Kokichi because he was very interesting to me as so I wanted to like understand his entire story. This time around I think I'm going to try and get the entire story of the ultimate detective and maybe as much as I can of Junko Inoshima before she ends up ultimately perishing. Well, perishing. Dead but not really dead. She fakes her own, she fakes her own death. But it'd be interesting to see if I can get friendship points with her. I'm not sure if I can. <laughs> 